Good day everyone. My name is Shaira Monteflor from BSBA Marketing Management. Today, I'm gonna teach you the biconditional in mathematics in modern world. First, there are symbols that we must remember. This symbol as not P. This as end. This as if P then Q. This is if P if and only if Q or IFF. We can use IFF symbol or this symbol. The biconditional states that if P then Q and if Q then P. That is denoted by P if and only if Q. In mathematical symbol, P if and only if Q is equals to if P, then Q, and if Q, then P. For example, write symbolic conditional statements in words. Let P, Q, and R represent the following. P, she will go on vacation. Q, she cannot take the train. R, she cannot get a loan. P, if and only if, not Q. She will go on vacation if and only if she can take the train. Now, you can see the difference. In the given statement, she cannot take the train. If it is not Q or not the given statement, this will be she can take the train. Next, not R if and only if not P. She can get a loan if and only if she does not go on vacation. Now, just like a previous example, use P, Q, and R represent the following. P, she will go on vacation. Q, she cannot take the train. R, she cannot get a loan. P, if and only if not R. She will go on vacation if and only if she can get a loan. Not Q if and only if not R. She can take the train if and only if she can get a loan. Next example, determine the truth values of biconditional using this table. If P is true and Q is true, then the P if and only if Q is also true. If it's true and false, it's false. If it's false and true, it's false. If it's false and false, then it's true. The table shows that the P if and only if Q is true. When P and Q has the same truth values. State whether each biconditional is true or false. x plus 4 is equals to 7. If and only if x is equals to 3. Both equations are true when x is equals to 3. Because 3 plus 4 is equals to 7, then it's true. And both are false when x is not equals to 3. Because any number that is not equals to 3, it is impossible to have an answer of 7. So, it's false. Both equations have the same truth value for any given value of x. Thus, it is a true statement. x squared is equal to 36 if and only if x is equals to 6. If x is equals to 6, the first equation is true because 6 squared is equals to 36. And the second equation is false because the value of x can be anything. Thus, this is a false statement. 
Again, using the table, for example, a x is greater than 7 if and only if x is greater than 6. If x is greater than 6, the value of x is 7, 8, 9, 10, so on and so forth. The first equation is false because 7 itself is not greater than 7. It is equals to 7. The second equation is true because the value of x can be any number that is greater than 6. Thus, this is a false statement. For example, b, x plus 5 is greater than 7. If o, and only if x is greater than 2. Both equations are true when x is greater than 2 because if we substitute x to any number that is greater than 2, the answer of this equation is always greater than 7, so it's true. And both are false when x is less than 2. Because if we substitute x to any number that is less than 2, the answer is always less than 7, so it's false. Both equations have the same truth values for any given values of x. Thus, this is a true statement. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something.